How to make the glass effect. Today's video is sponsored by a big fun of this channel, Christopher Nolan. <laughs> Indeed. Make your clip a new fusion clip and open the fusion page. Add a merge node. Bring a duplicate node in empty space and connect your clip to it. Drag this node to the left viewer so that you can see what you are doing. Set the copies to 3, move a little bit the center point for the X and the Y value, and decrease the blend slider to 0.6. Go to the Jitter tab, move the center points again, and hit the Recede button until you get a nice shuffled image. Add a Prism Blur node, and increase the aberration distance and strength to your liking. Add a Glow node, decrease the shine threshold and increase the spread slider. Add a Lens Reflection, open the Isolation menu, increase the brightness a bit, and the smooth slider all the way. Go to the global controls, increase the global blur, and decrease the global brightness. Go to the refracting element menu, move the position in optical path slider, and place it where you want your glass to be. Do the same for the second and the third refracting elements. Connect the lens reflection to the merge node as a foreground. Select the merge node, and add a polygon mask. Draw a roughly shape around the corner, and increase the soft edge of it. Add a transform node between the mask and the merge node. Make sure that your mask is connected in the yellow point of the transform node. Select the transform node, right click to the center value, and select to modify with shake. Go to the modifiers tab, set the minimum slider around 0.4, and the maximum around 0.5. If you want you can decrease the smoothness a bit also. This way you are adding a bit of shake to your glass. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, you are making a huge mistake.